I am Frank Motek for MA.TV. Among the leaders with us here now is Ryan Binkley, the president of Generational Equity, all the way in from Dallas here at the Beverly Hilton today. Ryan, thanks very much for being with us. And a lot of challenges, and I'm certainly in the markets nowadays, a lot of volatility too on the third anniversary of the financial crisis this month. Uh, give us your view of things here at the moment. Well, it's great to be here. Good to meet you, Frank. And we are excited to be during this time because a lot of times when there's a time of crisis, you know, we end up having a great opportunity. And I think that's what we're seeing in today's marketplace. Um, obviously, with the financial crisis that we've had here over the last three years, uh, there's a lot of our clients and privately held business owners that are looking for solutions and looking for answers on, on what to do in today's marketplace. And we are an M&A firm that focuses on the lower middle market, what we call the privately held sector that helps clients with revenues of 1 million all the way up to 150, 200 million. And um, a lot of our clients today have questions about this, this crisis and we're just helping them navigate through it. Uh, we're helping them focus on uh, strategic deals to help them provide the right solutions for them and their families. With worries about Greece and all, and of course the fallout from 2008, uh, is the financial crisis over in your view? Well, we don't think so. Uh, we think that there's still, uh, obviously every time that there's news out there today, there is still lingering effects from it. And although the, uh, the majority of the crisis is over with, there's still uh, Greece that we hear every day, there's still the European zone uh, efforts that are being made to help them restructure debt or get their costs in line. And every time that they, they move and they get in the news, that causes a ripple effect. And so many of our clients are, are listening to that and wondering what to do. So it's still with us. Don Frank's still coming together. How's this new uh, regulatory environment impacting things? Well, that's, uh, that's something that that's a lot of our clients don't understand fully. Uh, working with the privately held business owners, many of them have not read the Frank, Dodd-Frank Act or really understand all the details, but even a lot of the banks today are, are just now understanding the rules. Uh, this is a game-changing legislation that uh, doesn't have a lot of clearly defined rules, and so a lot of banks at certain thresholds have a lot of new regulations on them. That's changing the way they do loans, changing the way they do business. It's changing the way private equity groups finance deals today. And so um, it's, what we're trying to do is help our, help our clients get past that and through that. And so we do that through helping them find strategic buyers with the cash, whether it be corporate or private equity groups. Uh, they don't need to go necessarily all throughout through the mezzanine financing or third party financing. What does it take to stay at the top of the game, uh, have a competitive advantage uh, given all the uh, competition as you see out here today? Well, you know, our market segment is, is really interesting because you will see a lot of the larger deal segments that are out there today. And our focus is on what we call this lower middle market. And so we have got a, a strong team. We have a team of over 200 employees now and staff members that help a large different range of clients. So we have clients that will help in the 50 to 100 million, 200 million segment, as well as those that go down to the 5 and 10 million segment. And so our advantage is really helping take the expertise from our larger deal groups and bringing it down to even the small business owner today. So we can kind of take Wall Street approaches to Main Street. And that's helped us really create markets for our clients. Instead of it just being a, uh, putting a, a client out there in a market and letting buyers come to us, we're really going after the strategic players and helping them define that and put a good offer in front of them. And what do you see out there that impresses you and uh, what are some of the mistakes you're seeing being made out there? Well, I think that uh, one of the mistakes that's always being made at a time like this is time of uncertainty is people just pausing. Um, you know, some of the mistakes in the past were that we did, they didn't focus on fundamentals. Either banks didn't focus on fundamentals or uh, a lot of the buying groups didn't focus on fundamentals. And so what I mean by that is if a larger private equity group or a corporation will buy a good strategic fit that fits within their financial means, they usually will not go wrong. But if they are doing some high risk things that to try and um, benefit shareholders that really aren't in the best interest of business fundamentals, then those are some big mistakes. And so uh, we're trying to, to help people to learn from those mistakes, but yet act, because this is a great opportunity for business owners today to be able to take advantage and be in a buyer ready position. And it's a great opportunity for larger private equity groups to position themselves well for the future once we come out of this era. Ryan Binkley, President of Generational Equity in from Dallas here at the ACG 2011 conference in Beverly Hills. Ryan, thanks very much for joining us here today on MA.TV. Thank you.